Hey clarinet players, I hope you guys are having a great week so far. In this video, I want us to review all of the notes that we've learned so far, and we're actually gonna learn a couple new notes at the end, which are found down here. The notes that we're gonna review in this video are C, D, E, F, G, and A, and then the new ones we'll learn are B, A, and G, the low notes. Let's get started. The way this video will work is I will play the first note, I will say what the letter is, where you find it on the music staff, and then I will show you the fingerings, and then we'll play a rhythm on this side together. So let's get started off with the note C. The fingering for C is going to be with my left hand always first, my left thumb on the back key, thumb, first finger, second finger, and third finger. Make sure that all the holes are completely covered, and let's play C as a whole note. Tap your foot, one, two, ready, play. Make sure that you can match what you're playing on your end should sound exactly like what I'm playing on my end. So if your note doesn't sound like the video, try again, make sure that you have firm, firm, flat, and always use your ears to make sure that you're matching the notes. Our next note is D. D is found the space below the bottom line of the treble clef. The fingering for D is left thumb, one and two, with my ring finger now up in the air. Let's play D as two half notes, which each last two beats. Everyone tap your foot. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> To divide those notes and make sure that they're separated from each other, you use your tongue lightly up against the tip of the reed. Next we have the note E. E is found on, on the bottom line of the treble clef. The fingering for E is my left thumb and my first finger with now my middle and my ring finger up in the air. Let's play E also as two half notes which last two beats each. Tap your foot, one, two, ready, play. Next we have the note F. F is where we just press our thumb of our left hand and no fingers are being used. F we are going to play as four quarter notes so these notes will occur right with the numbers. So if I say one, two, three, four, it becomes F F, F, F. Let's play four quarter notes together with F. One, two, tap your foot and play. Always remember to use your tongue to divide those notes. Our next note is found on the same space as F. It's our F sharp. The only difference is that it has the sharp symbol next to it, and it's a different fingering. So, F sharp is where I just use my first finger of my left hand, and my thumb is not being played. To help, you can rest your thumb right here, just on the plastic of the clarinet. That way you make sure it's not being used. So it's just my first finger of my left hand, and it sounds like this. Let's play it as four quarter notes together. One, two, Ready, go. And just so you guys can hear the difference between F and F sharp, here is F sharp once more. And here's F, it's gonna be a little lower. Do you hear how those are two different notes? They are different notes, but they are found on the same first space. F sharp just has this sharp symbol next to it. Next we have the note G. G does not use any fingers, but what's difficult about G is that you have to balance the clarinet. By making sure that my right thumb is resting on my thumb rest, and my left fingers are hovering above the buttons, if I'm really still, I can play G nice and carefully. Let's play G as four quarter notes with no buttons being pressed on the clarinet. Here we go. One, two, tap your foot and play. The 
The next note that we are going to learn is A. A is found on the second space of the treble clef, and the fingering for A is this button directly above where my first finger normally goes. So if we zoom in a little bit, it's going to be directly above, and we want to make sure that we roll our finger back so that if we need to go to an E or an F sharp or something where we use this button, we can quickly do that. Remember how we practice that roll? Let's practice A, and we're going to play this as a whole note. Everyone tap your foot. One, two, ready, play. Now that we have reviewed all of the notes that we've already learned so far, now let's learn some new notes. The first new note that we're going to play is B. Now, B uses a ledger line. When we run out of these five and we want to go lower, we add these little sideways lines, just like how we did on C. But for this one, we go to the space directly below it. So the fingering for B is thumb, one, two, three, just like C. But now in my right hand, I press my middle finger down. Of these three buttons, I press my middle finger here. Let's play B as a whole note. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> The next new note that we have is one letter below B, and that's going to be A. A also uses these ledger lines, but because it's even lower, we have to add a second ledger line, which is why we have the top one where C normally goes, and A is two ledger lines below the staff. The fingering for A is thumb, one, two, three in my left hand, and one, two in my right hand. Let's play A as two half notes, which each last two beats. One, two, ready, play. Okay, clarinet players, the last note in this video we are going to learn is G. G is one letter below A because remember, in music, we only use the first seven letters of the alphabet. When we get to G, we go back up to A. So if we go down from A, we end up on G. G has the two ledger lines, the one for C and the one for A, but it's the space directly below that. Now let's talk about the fingering. The fingering is thumb, one, two, three of my left hand and one, two, three of my right hand. Now, here's the thing. Because you have so many fingers down, you're more likely for one of those fingers to just be a little off and then the note won't, won't come out. So really make sure that you can feel all of these three circles nice and firm in my right hand and make sure you're pressing all the way down. The note G will sound like this. Now let's play it as two half notes. Everyone tap your foot, thumb one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's play G. One, two, ready, go. So everyone, I really hope that this video helped you review some of the notes, where they occur on the music staff and what they sound like. I hope that you were able to listen to the notes that I played and match um, in your ears what you're playing at home. Now that you're done watching it the first time, I want you to go back to the beginning of the video and try these notes again because we can always get better every day. Have a good one and I miss you guys. Bye!